Shimai GTA chums, the ride you is on discount this week, so if you have Warstock Cash and Carry, you'll find it there for 3.5, actually it's a bit more than that, um, because I've got the discount of discounts, but still, it's going to be cheap even if you don't have the discount, because it's 30% off this week. Very nice jet it is. To get the discount, you need to get an Avenger and the um, Operations thing inside the Avenger, but uh, it unlocks the missions. But I think it's worthwhile buying by itself if you're into jets. So we're going to modify it to the max. Uh, and it's mainly just kind of armor and engine handling upgrades that you're going to do. Um, race handling is ideal, but try stock to begin with, of course. Um, it has the best livery in the game, which makes it the best jet in the game. This is the Princess Robot Bubblegum. There is another one, though. Waisabi Waifu. Actually, I think I've done that one as well. Um, let's do something different then. I mean, that is a very good one as well, the Waisabi Waifu. Those are the best liveries, but you might want something like this with electric or whatever on it. Um, or just stock. I don't think we've done a stock one yet, but actually I like the teeth on. Stock with teeth. There we go. And respray, we're going to go with a matte colour. Something like a matte grey to look like the plane it's supposed to be, the F-35 Lightning 2. And a secondary colour, what does that do? Oh, it colours up the little jeb ends on the back, you see. So I think a red would work well with that. A red, very nice. Or a bright green. Let's exit. And take it for a ride. Now, it's a VTOL aircraft, so VTOL mode is operated by pressing the landing gear button and holding it, so G on PC, so there we go, we're in normal takeoff mode. And of course G again presses to get the gear up. Now, you start off with weaponry, but if you press the H button, which is headlights, the weaponry folds away and you're now in stealth mode. Notice on the radar bottom left it's flashing to indicate stealth. So this is a stealth aircraft and it's one of the, f it's probably, I think it's the fastest aircraft in the game. If you get to altitude it will go extremely fast and get you across the map really quickly. So combined with VTOL this makes it just ideal for GTA kind of doffing around uh, mission kind of bits and pieces. But I'll show you why it's also good at missions is because it's got an explosive cannon. I should have done it on that bridge back there, but we're going to head up here and see what we've got. Um, explosive cannon is just like the um, laser, but I think the rate of fire might be a little bit less. Let's get into VTOL mode and just show you a bit more of that explosive cannon. It's a lot easier to handle than the um, than the Hydra when in hover mode. You, you know, folks should have no problem with it whatsoever which makes landings a lot easier as well um, for missions. So you can land anywhere, just like a helicopter really. I'll show you a landing VTOL style. So, hold on, just blow that up. There we go. Perfect. So that's the, miss the uh, cannon, which is very excellent in itself. But we also have missiles, homing missiles. As you can tell, oh, hang on, let's, uh, as you can tell, they're just standard homing missiles, so I hardly ever use them. They'll lock onto stuff. They do. They'll do everything a homing missile does, and that's it. The weapons. I mean, they're not a letdown, but um, because of, I think the explosive cannon is very good and very good fun. But those homing missiles are good for your missions and helicopters and things, just to make it a bit easier. Because sometimes the explosive cannon can be hard to get on target, as ever with these things when you're first learning. If it's your first jet and you don't have any other jets, then yeah, it's recommended for sure. Um, it's best off getting the Avenger with the um, the Avenger thingy for the discount, but um, that's a whole other story. Whether you buy it without the Avenger or not, I still would buy it anyway, based on it being an excellent jet. Right, so I don't think I have anything else to say. This is quite it's quite hardy against NPCs gunplay because I mean there was a bit of a I think there was a bit of a problem with it initially where they weren't taking it down at all but you hardly ever get taken down if at all by NPCs with the gunnery and with um, you know, small arms fire so it's a very uh, ex excellent aircraft for that reason as well and of course stealth mode will put you off the radar and I should talk about dogfighting a bit, I'm not in open but basically dogfighting is very easy in this all you do is go into stealth mode get behind them, it's not real dogfighting is it? if you want to get revenge on someone this out of stealth 
mode and just shoot them. And I've taken down B11s with this easily. Uh, I don't think a B11 has ever taken me down, on the other hand, because the fire rate on the B11 with their explosive cannon is quite terrible. So I think it's probably the best dogfighter in the game. And the B11 is very good, of course it is. But because of the sneakiness using stealth mode, so it's, I suppose it's not true dogfighting, but it has great handling and speed at altitude. So, and you can do all sorts of maneuvers, like by turning on the um, stealth mode. Um, sorry, levitating mode, F -tol, V tol. I think you can turn the V tol on upside down as well. Let's have a go at that. There are some little special moves with this jet specifically. So, if you're into tricks and all that kind of business, then this is also a jet worth having, so there we go, we're in VTOL mode upside down. Just a bit of a novelty, that's all. I hope this video has been useful for you, and um, got any questions, drop them below, I'll try my very best to answer, but thank you very much for watching. Buy this jet, have a great day if you're playing Dust GTA. Oh, drop a like as well if you fancy it.